Being that it wasn't a man like him, well, he had a reputation for wisdom. Queen Sheba even came to check him out. Yeah. And after her investigation, her evaluation concluded, well, well, the half has not been told. But as we taught last night, Solomon had a wobble. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. In his will. Regardless of his wisdom, seven hundred wives, yes, three hundred concubines. That is not including the maids and handmaids that was born in his house. That's right. Solomon, the book says, loved outlandish women. Right. Yes. He loved evil women. Yes. He loved women that were idolatrous. Yes. That's right. The very idols that he tore down, the women that he loved built up. Built up. They turned Solomon's heart. Yeah. Yeah. See, when your heart changed, you're gone. Yes. Are you listening? That's right. When your heart changed, yeah. they turned Solomon's heart not toward God, but yeah. against God. And when your heart turned against yeah. God, you are no longer emotionally connected. That's it. To him that is called love. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Are you listening? Yeah. Now, if I'm no longer connected to the one that is called love, then the love of God that I had evaporates. As more as my heart turns away from him Amen. then my love that I have for him and the things that pertain to him leaves forget Solomon Amen. give me the book of Mark mm -hmm. chapter 4 mm -hmm. begin at verse 10 verse 10 Amen. we want to talk about the heart today Amen. and the danger that it consists of. Oh, yes. The book of scripture teaches us out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaking. The book of scripture teaches us also of the things that come out of the heart that defile a man. The heart is where the emotions lie. Amen. What triggers the heart? First information that is heard from the ear and then the mind begins to think about or consider what the ears have heard. Then the heart becomes emotionally involved from what the ears have heard and what the mind begins to think. Then the body becomes active from what the ears have heard. The mind think and what the heart feels. That's right. Where is your heart yes. with God? Yes. Who has your heart? Yes. What have your heart? Do anyone possess your heart more than God? Does anything possess your heart? more than God. Is it anything or anyone you love more than God? Is it anyone you are more close to more than God? Is it anyone you are more committed to more than God? We're going to judge ourselves today. Yes. Listen at the book of scripture. Follow me. In Mark chapter 4, begin reading at verse 10. Listen. And when he was done, they that were about him with the twelve asked him of the parable. 
And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. But unto them that are without, all things are done in parables. Yeah. That seeing they may see and not perceive. That's right. And hearing they may hear and not understand. Mm -hmm. Lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. All right. And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable? Do you know this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? What is it? The sower soweth the word. Now, one who sows seed practice husbandry. That's right. A planter. Mm -hmm. The preacher is a planter of knowledge. That's yes. right. Yes. The human family mm -hmm. is the earth. Yes. 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 Fertilized ground. Yes. That's right. The driving force behind the preacher is the spirit or the presence of the most high God. Yes. That's, right. That's right. That's right. The same time the word of God is being planted. There is a evil force. Yes, it is. Among us all. That's true. To take it as quick as it comes. That's true. There is no plant that can grow, spring up from the earth unless the seed is quickened. That's right. The seed is not quickened except it, it dies. Ah, that's right. Then it must go through the atmospheric change. When it's quickened, you see the dead resurrect. That's right. Then a tender plant is coming out of the earth. Wonderful. When the word of God is preached, mm -hmm. your heart must be ready to grasp yeah. God's word. That's right. If your heart, in order for your heart to be ready, Emotionally, you must yeah. be connected yeah. right. to the information that's right. that God gives. That's right. Yeah. That's the time when you come to the house. Listen, the book says this. When you come to the house of God, keep your foot. In other words, God is demanding certain behavior when you come to his house. That's right. When you come to the house of God, keep your foot. Keep thy foot. And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. One scripture says, take heed how you hear. That's right. So when you come to church, when you come to the house of God, you must be in full listening mode. That's right. You got to go beyond hearing. That's right. You got to listen. Listen. That's right. See, I can hear, right. but not listen. That's right. It's just like I can read, but not study. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Do you see the difference? That's right. See, if I read, but I'm not really studying or into what I'm reading, I might get none out of it. No. But if I'm hearing, mm. but not really listening, mm. then I cannot differentiate the sound that I hear. That's right. The apostle teaches us mm -hmm. even things without life. Mm -hmm. Giving sound. Giving sound. That's right. Whether it be pipe or hop. Mm -hmm. There's a distinction. There's a separation. There's a difference right. in the sound. In the sound. That's right. If I take my hand mm -hmm. and slap you. <laughs> It will, you will give off a sound. Right. But if I take these digits and pull them together, mm -hmm. I guarantee a different sound going to come out. That's right. There's a matter of change of position. That's right. You have to change the position of your heart. Amen. In order to absorb the sound or the things of God. So when I come to church and if the God of heaven advise me, keep my foot, That's that right. means everything else Go ahead, has to be removed. That's right. Amen. In order for God, look at the request. Lord, create in me. That's right. A clean heart. Yeah. Renew in me a right spirit. A right spirit.
spirit yeah. which shows us there is a wrong spirit Amen. that is in us Amen. Amen. and the wrong Amen. spirit causes us to manifest the wrong behavior that's right Amen. are you listening that's, that's right. right the heart that's the heart. that thing that causes many people to murder yeah do wrong it have broken up homes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yes, it have ignited jealousy and rage. Yeah. Oh, yes, it have caused many to make bad and ignorant decisions. Amen. That's right. Amen. Boy, yeah. Take side with Rome. Whenever the heart get involved yeah. with God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is written that the king's heart yeah. is in the hand of the Lord. Yeah. So when your heart get involved with God, yeah. God declares ownership. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. He wants the total man yes. and the total woman. Yeah. Yeah. It is so thrown around today. I love you. Yeah. Folks say that more over, don't they? I, 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 I love you. When I, sometimes a fella tell us a woman, baby, I love you. Oh, you, you, you touch my heart. Well, wait, 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 wait. Before your heart is touched, yes. be sure he will understand the meaning of love. That's right. Anybody can throw it out. That's right. But can you define it? Yes. A person can't produce what they don't understand. That's right. So why would you look for a person to produce what they don't have knowledge of? Amen. How can a preacher preaching produce truth yeah. that he don't have? That's right. That's right. That's right. You gotta have it. Can't do it. God is love. Yeah. That's right. But God love is not like ours. No, no. His love is unconditional. I had no tickets on working on this, but it's good. God love is not like baby, I love you. God ain't coming whispering sweet nothings in your ear. No, no. God love is forsaking everything. Everything. Putting him before and above yeah. all things. Oh yes. Oh yeah. He said, "If hey. you don't love me, hey. you can't be my disciple." Hey. God's love, or to love God, brings about self-denial. That's right. And the surrender of will. That's right. Which bring about the contradiction or the struggle of self. Amen. Are you listening? Oh, yes. Listen. Amen. Back in Mark 4 and verse 14. What is it? The sower soweth the word. The sower. This is what we're doing today. Sowing. Planting. Planting. Amen. Planting seed. That's right. I hope your body. Is ready to accept it. Yeah. There is no spiritual growth where the word have not been sown. That's right. Let me say it again. That's right. You cannot grow spiritually where the word is not being preached. You just can't. No. It doesn't matter if you go to a church and somebody's up on a stage hooping and hollering and break dancing. The question is, is he preaching the word? word? If the word is not being preached because you're shouting and falling out and running around, no. that don't mean nothing. No. Knowledge is power. That's right. And if God is not being preached, then there is no fertilization That's right. of the heart. That's right. And if there is no fertilization of the heart, God can grow in you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? 
So this is why many today mm -hmm. is spiritually immature. Yeah. Many cannot handle little small matters without falling apart. That's right. Someone don't speak to you. You lay out of church six months. Yeah. Someone don't. This is why we are concerned about trivial foolishness. He got a suit like mine. She got shoes like mine. Amen. Got a hat like mine. A pocketbook like mine. Where we church have become a fashion show. Until we're more worried about fashion than we are God. That's right. That's right. Come on, preacher. Yeah. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? And I, brethren, listen. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. Paul said, And I, brethren, could not speak unto you. Could not speak unto you. As unto spiritual. As unto spiritual. But as unto carnal. But as unto carnal. Even yeah. as unto babes in Christ. You see, when your heart is not connected with God, your priorities are screwed up. That's right. That's right. Your priorities are wrong. When your heart is not connected with God, you're overzealous. That's right. Amen. You don't take your time. Go ahead. You're quick Go ahead. to quote scripture, mm -hmm. but you're not quick to obey them. That's right. That's it. On the milk ball. You are quick to look at others. That's right. More than you are to look at yourself. That's right. You are quick to put somebody else in hell. Yes. But ignore the fact you're on your way to the same place. That's right. That's right. First establish Go ahead, man. your own relationship with God. Go ahead. And leave everybody else's alone. That's establish right. your own. Your own. Yeah. That's right. How close is your heart That's right. to God? Right. Is God first in your life? Now hold it. Let me explain that. Mm -hmm. Because if I got to go to work mm -hmm. on Tuesday night, which is a church night, yes. that don't mean God is not first. That's right. Come on here. Good teaching. Church night is Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I got to be at work Tuesday. Yeah. So because you are at church And I got to work yeah. You don't have the right to come to me and say Well look if God was first You'll walk off the job No, no. See if God is first That simply means I obey him That's right. First above all things That's right. And God said if you don't work You don't eat, you don't eat. You don't eat. So even though church is going on mm -hmm. And I'm at the job yeah. I'm still obeying God That's right Good teaching. It's good teaching. Amen. Let's bring balance. Amen. Very good teaching. Bring balance. And that way many of us can get off our self-appointed judgment seat. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Because you don't miss a night of church, don't mean you're there. Amen. That's true. That's true. Amen. When you're there, your whole heart yeah. have to be there amen. amen give me the fifth chapter of ecclesiastes ecclesiastes that's right solomon teaches us keep thy foot keep all right keep keep thy foot listen at this in ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 1 everybody all right amen what is it? Keep thy foot. Keep thine foot. When thou goest to the house of God. And what should the most important role we should play? And be more ready to hear. What is that word? More ready to hear. That may more than anything else you do. Right. Whether it's testifying, singing a song. Right. Be more ready to hear. Mm -hmm. That don't mean be ready to be newsy. That's right. About somebody else's personal business. That's right. Yeah. Be more ready to hear what the Spirit say right. to the church. To the church. The most important part of church is the message. That's right. If the message is wrong, all church is wrong. Amen. That's right. If your teaching is wrong, your church is wrong. It's wrong. Amen. Amen. 
So if the book says be more ready to hear when I come to church and it's come time for the word, I should be more attentive more ready. than any part of service That's right. that went on. That's right. right. More than any part. Yeah. I ain't got time to think about how good that brother look over there. Good, good ain't got time to think about how good that sister look over there. Right. Ain't got time to think about my wife. Right. Ain't got time to think about my husband. That's right. Ain't got time to think about how long service gonna be before I get on the road. Yeah. Ain't got time. I think I got. I got time to change my clothes Wonderful. before I go back home. Wonderful. Stop all of it. Be more ready to hear. Who say you gonna make it back home? Preach it. God can cut you off before you leave here. That's right. That's right. Do you hear the advice be, of the Lord? Be more ready to hear. Be more ready to hear. Yeah. If I'm more ready to hear, then I'll be more ready yeah. to obey. See, when I'll be more ready to hear, I have to be in obedience mode. Yeah. That's right. Are you listening? Come That's on. right. That's Listen. Keep thy foot. Keep it. Amen. Keep thy foot. Keep it. Yeah. Don't do so much moving around. It's good teaching. So if there ain't no moving that's needed, stay where you are. It's good teaching. No need to fix what ain't broken. That's right. Keep your foot. Keep thy foot. Train the children. Yes. How to sit down and not run to the bathroom all the time. Go ahead, brother. We're going to preach. Preach it. The Bible says what? Keep thy foot. Teach them how to sit down. Amen. Train them yes. up a child yes. and the way it should go. Yes. Good teaching, brother. Do what? Keep thy foot. It should not be no text Mexican in church go when ahead. the word is going on. Go ahead. That's right. Am I right? That's right. The word says, keep thy foot. Yeah. It's blatant disrespect Go ahead, brother, man. to God. Go ahead. Why am I in church? Go ahead. Or in the bathroom? Yes. Texting. That's right. Who's that important? That's right. Who's more important than God? That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. The word says, keep Amen. thy foot. Do what? Keep yeah. thy foot. If I'm sitting next to you in church and the word is being taught, don't have a conversation with me. That's right. Leave me alone. That's right. There's a time That's right. for everything. That's right. The word says, keep thy foot. Keep your foot. Keep thy foot. You got to be observant. Oh, yes. Jesus taught. His messengers teaching them to observe all things. Preach it, brother. He said, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. Preach it. Keep thy foot. Keep thy foot. Train the children to sit down. That's right. Train them not to move around every time. That's right. And you start that training at home. Yeah. When I came up, my mother and father put me at a chair and made me sit there for several hours. Amen. I wasn't on punishment. They was teaching me how to be still. Right. It's good teaching. Keep thy foot. Not jam packed in a bathroom. That's right. Just having a conversation. That's right. Like God don't exist. Amen. How Amen. cheap did God become in your life? Come on. My Lord. Where you got time to sit in church? Come on. Text messaging? Text messaging. The house of God should be so respected. It shouldn't be a reason for an usher to tell anybody, you know, you need to be quiet. That's right. That's right. That's right. No. No. Church today ain't like it was years ago. No. This modern piece of trash that you call church ain't church. No. Let us remember 
worship must be honored by God. That's right. If it's not honored by God, then what you do don't mean nothing to him. Go ahead, brother. I'm not saying if someone got a condition, don't attend to them. That's right. I'm not saying if a person is ill and got to go, I'm not saying that. No. I'm talking about just unruly movement that need not to be. Not to be. That's Even security. That's right. If it ain't nothing wrong with the chair, stay in it. That's right. So you don't pace the floor and distract nobody else. Go ahead. If you walk in the back where folks can't see you, fine. But up here, don't move. Don't budge. Now why God talk? Your movement ain't worth a dime when God talk. God says, keep thy foot. What did God say? Keep thy foot. Sit down. Keep thy foot. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Sit down. That's right. That's right. God's house go ahead. has to go back go ahead. to the way it was yeah. when the apostles was here. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Go to take God. Go ahead. God's house go ahead. has to go back yes. to the way it was oh, yeah. when the apostles was here. That's right. We ain't going to modernize nothing. We walk by the same rule. We mind same the thing. same thing. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Nothing new. Nothing new. Keep thy foot. God says. Keep thy foot. Keep if you want to live, what did God say? Keep thy foot. When you do what? Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. If you in class and take an exam, movement to distract others, who's taking that exam? That's right. Do you know when you're being taught the words of God, you are being examined? That's right. For the apostle teaches us, examine yourself. To do what? See. Are you in the faith? That's it. See, are you in the church? That's right. See, are you connected to God? That's right. Amen. Keep thy foot. Keep thy foot. And every temple, make the children sit down. Amen. In every temple. Amen. Make the children stop all this bathroom running. That's right. That goes for the adults also. That's right. When it comes time for the word, there shouldn't be somebody in another part of the church having some rehearsal. While the word is being preached, your song is not important than God's word. That's right. In order to sing a new song, you need a new spirit. That's right. That's good teaching, brother. Everything is on hold That's right. when God talks. Right. Hallelujah. That's Everything. The Lord. Everything is stopped, Everything. stuck, shut down That's right. when God talks. The Lord is in his holy temple. And I don't even have the Holy Ghost. That's right. I can't afford. Lord, not to get that word in me. That's right. Everything stands still. That's right. And see the salvation of God. The Lord. That's true. That's right. Do you hear what the word of God says? Keep thy foot. Keep it. Keep thy foot. Go ahead, preach. When what? When thou goest to the house of God. And what should we do? Be more ready more. to hear. If I'm in tune to the word, and more I'm ready. one that's tearing for the Holy Ghost. More ready. Right while the word of God is preached, it can come down upon me. That's right. And fill me with the Holy Ghost. That's right. But I rob myself. If I'm running all over the place and I need the Holy Ghost, I'm sitting in the bathroom, I'm text messaging. Get your life in order. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, 
Get your priorities order. in order. That's right. When God's first, you ain't worrying about some girl's phone number. Go ahead, brother. You ain't worrying about how to get out of church quick. Go ahead. Amen. To uh, talk to some fine woman? Yes. Go ahead, brother. No, or to talk to some good looking man? Keep thy foot. Your heart is in order. That's it. That's it. When the word is being preached, there should not be no other meetings in church. Security should not be meeting downstairs while the word is being preached upstairs. Amen. In order for security to be secured, they got to have the Holy Ghost. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. If working in any auxiliary distract you from God, get off. Get off. Bow down and tear it. For the Holy Ghost. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Terry. That's it. College is good. Amen. College without God ain't nothing. nothing. Amen. Your degrees, your career is good. Amen. But if you don't do it with God, you ain't doing nothing. That's right. That's right. You that are here That's right. and you that are listening, the center of life is God. Oh yeah. Yo, someone say, well, Pastor Dennis, my man is everything. Come on here. Are you lost? I'm Come lost. On here. Come on here. My woman Come on here. is everything. You are lost. lost. Yeah, Only one that can be everything yeah. is God. That's right. Almighty. Go ahead, man. You got to be so in tune with God. That if your husband backslide, you're going to stay with God. That's right. He can try to taunt you with this cheap anatomy all he wants. But when you're connected to God, it's not a hard choice That's right. between anatomy and God. Amen. Go ahead, man. This is old fashioned holiness. Go ahead. Keep thy foot. Do you hear God talking? Keep thy foot. Keep your foot. When thou goest to the house of God. And what shall we do? Be more ready to hear. There should not be an auxiliary meeting no time. Yeah. While the word is preached. That's right. Yeah. It ain't no such thing. Well, our meeting was first. The moment the word is preached, your meeting stop. It stop. We ain't finished. Finish later. That's right. There's no choir rehearsal. No. There's no meeting. No. There's no mothers talking. Amen. Everything. Amen. Come to church. That's right. To hear. That's right. What God said. God said. Amen. Amen. Why? Because God got a special order. Oh, yeah. He said what? Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. And what is the most important thing? Be more ready to hear. Be more ready to hear. Than to do what? Than to give the sacrifice of fools. Why? What is it they're not considering? For they consider not that they do evil. Amen. You're not considering that you're sinning. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Consider not that they do. You're evil. not considering. Yeah. It doesn't matter if they work in a church office. Yeah. That's right. When the word is being preached, That's right. get out of there. Amen. If you're not finishing a letter, shut it down. Get out. That's right. That's right. Get out of there. That's right. Come where the word is preached. Amen. Because God said, let all things be done decently and in order. That's right. Because the Lord is letting us know we're not taking things under consideration. Yes. And he said what? They consider not that they do evil. You don't consider God. Now in our eyes, we're doing right. Right. But in God's eyes, they do evil. We do evil. Amen. Are you listening? It's good teaching. If there's an emergency and you got to move, that's different. That's different. We ain't talking about that. No. That's right. No. If there's an emergency that pulls me out the pulpit, I gotta go. That's true. And then I let somebody else come in my stage and pick up where I left off. That's right. That's right. If I 
preaching Jesus mm. and the resurrection and when somebody else look I got an American say I gotta go you come on up here don't you go talking about Daniel <laughs> that's right that's right you come on when, when I pass you the baton and you grab it you pick up Jesus died hung on the cross from the sixth to the ninth hour right right you stay right there. Stay right there. You don't stare and get in another lane. That's right. You pick right up. What we bring it to the Jews, you come along and bring it to the Gentiles. Go ahead. Stay on the same path. Same path. Are you getting what I'm talking? That's right. Keep thy feet. Hallelujah. Amen. Go ahead, take God. Amen. Keep. Keep thy foot. Thy foot. When thou goest to the house of God. Keep it. If you got to leave early because you got to go to work, we ain't talking about that. Mm. Nah. Good teaching, brother. Excuse. We're talking about unnecessary movement that simply don't have to be. That's right. You disturb order. Right. Yeah. It's like when you baptize somebody. Yeah. I often advise brothers when you're baptizing somebody, don't give them no, don't cry no conversation. No. That's right. Don't go ask them about, uh, did you pray and all that stuff. No, no. Yeah, you don't interrupt them because when they in that water, they can be praying. Yeah. What in the Holy Ghost? Yeah. And you go running off at the mouth, you can break their concentration. Yeah. Just get them in water. Baptize them. Get them out. Don't ask them their name. Don't ask them how far did you drive. Don't ask them are you married. You don't get them in water to have a general conversation. You baptize them and get them out. You don't want to disturb their connection between them and God. Are right, you listening to the old man? Go ahead. Keep thy foot. Amen. Keep your foot. When thou goest to the house of God. Mm. Mm. When you love a thing, it has your undivided attention. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Keep your foot. When thou goest to the house of God. And then what? Be more ready to hear. More. Ready. More so. If I'm working in a church. And my functioning in an auxiliary, mm -hmm. I'm starting to use that as an excuse yeah. Yeah. to not hear the word of the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> then that auxiliary work will become a witness against me. That's right. You cannot grow if there is no word in you. Yeah. You can't. can't. The word of God is called seed. seed. Yeah. If you're not having no seed planted in yeah. you, yeah. you cannot have the fruits of the spirit. That's right. You can't get an orange if it ain't no seed. No. Yeah. You can't get no type of fruit if there's no seed. That's right. How can you have the fruits of the spirit if there is no seed planted in you? That's right. No word in you. Word got to be in you. Yeah. Go ahead. The important, the most important part Go ahead, of church Amen. is the word. Amen. Amen. When I came up, my parents gave me a sit-down session. Amen. I watched them do my other family members like that. Amen. Sit down. We wasn't on punishment. Sit down. My father was so strict. If he saw me falling asleep in church, glory, 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 glory. he was up glory. preaching we had the same day. many a day. Yeah. That man walked out the pulpit <laughs> while he preaching. I'm in the chair sleep. He came out the pulpit right, while he preaching right. and grabbed me That's by right. my ear right. and woke me back up. Amen. <laughs> And then went right back to the Bible Amen. to pick up where he left off. Yeah. That's, That's old school. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. They hate that. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Go ahead, brother. 
without the word mm-hmm. of the Lord, Amen. you are lost. lost. Burning in your brains. That's right. Without the word, without the word. you're lost. That's right. That means coming to church ain't worth nothing. Oh, yeah. Do you hear the advice mm-hmm. of your Lord? Keep thy foot. Keep it. When thou goest to the house of God. Keep it. Keep thy foot. There should not be no auxiliary meeting going on and no church. No church. When the word of God is preached. That's right. Not even the preacher should be in the pulpit on a cell phone and text messenger. That's right. And he up here. That's right. That's right. Let all things That's right. be done decently and in order. That's right. Amen. That's right, brother. You don't be in a pulpit on a cell phone. Amen. You don't be in a pulpit text messaging. Amen. You walking around teaching and your phone on your hip go off. Amen. You stop while you teaching to check a text. My Lord. Get out the pulpit. That's right. All the way. How did the pulpit become so cheap? How did the pulpit become this trivial? Go ahead. When I'm in church, Go ahead, bro. turn the phone off. That's right. If an emergency come up, I gotta make a call. I'm getting out of here. Go ahead. And going outside. Yeah. And take care of business. Then come back. Then come back. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's right, bitch. Yeah. That's right. Keep thy foot. I'ma sit in back of church mm. and take some love words to some girl. Oh. <laughs> And a brother going to sit in church, mm. take some words back. My Lord. While the word is preached. My Lord. Is God that cheap? Amen. Is God that trivial? Work on it. Work on it. The world is guilty. That's right. That's right. God That's right. has been dwindled down yes. to nothing. Amen. And when God becomes nothing in your life, yeah. a, a person who tell you you ain't nothing, do not expect them to treat you with respect. Amen. That's right. Amen. They look at you like you nothing and don't mind telling you you ain't nothing. Yeah. Don't expect to be treated like something. something. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yeah. That's right. I want all of you brothers that minister that are watching to get this. Go ahead, go ahead. You ain't got no business in the pulpit. Go ahead. With a cell phone on. No. Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, I got work to do. If your work is more important than ministry, then have enough respect for ministry to fire yourself. Amen. That's right. Get out the pulpit. That's right. Go ahead. You are right. Have enough respect for the church. Yeah. Go on and take your phone calls, but get out the pulpit. Yeah. You are right. Amen. You Amen. Are right. Well, Pastor Jenner, I got to take this call. It's a major job offer. If God wants you to have it, you are get it if you miss all the calls. That's right. Hallelujah. Right. Talk to me, you will. Go ahead, brother. It is written. Go ahead. Go 61st. Ahead. That's right. The kingdom of God. That's right. And his righteousness. Oh, yeah. And he promised oh. that all things yeah. shouldn't be more anxious to leave church Come on. because you want to knock up some broad you living with. Come on, preacher. Go ahead. You're more anxious to leave church because you want to have sex with some girl. Go ahead. That you living with? Go ahead. That ain't your wife? Amen. Telling the truth. Am I right? Go ahead, brother. Yes, you are right. Go ahead, brother. Amen. Can't argue with that. It's good teaching, brother. Church is nothing but a trivial stop. Amen. <laughs> so, boyfriend and girlfriend, come to church. I want to let's go see this cat in person that we see on internet. Yeah. Let's go see that Geno Jenner's in person. Let's see if he, you know, the way in person like he is on television. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or like we download him on the YouTuber. Come on here. Yeah. 
So boyfriend and girlfriend come to church. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about seeing PJ in person. Come on, man. Yeah. I'm not your God. That's right. That's right. That's right. Look at the Bible. Coming to see me in person don't really mean nothing. No. It's the words, Look at the words. that is taught yes. that you have to gravitate to. Make it plain. Make it plain. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. Amen. Listen. Keep thy foot yes. when thou goest to the house of God. And what? And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice yeah. of fools. Be more ready to what? More ready to hear. Yeah. Mm. Walk out. Now, mm -hmm. if people had jobs yeah. and they supervisor say, listen, this job require no movement hey. for eight hours. That's right. <laughs> Eight hours, a hundred thousand dollars a year. <laughs> All we do is require you not to move. Just don't move. Eight hours a day. Yeah. You know what you're gonna do to make sure you master it? <laughs> you're gonna practice at home. You're gonna practice. The moment you hear a hundred thousand yeah. dollars, right. you're gonna go home. Yes, yeah. you will. Practicing. Yes. Yeah. All kind of ways to just yeah. be still. Yeah. All kind of ways. That's right. Ways. That's right. Just practice. That's right. Why in your mind? A hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand dollars. God says, mm -hmm. if you obey me, Amen. you'll have life yeah. eternal. Yeah. Life eternal. Yeah. And we don't practice. Go ahead, The fear of the Lord wow. is the beginning of wisdom. Amen. To depart from evil. It's understanding. That's understanding. It's understanding. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Are you listening? Go ahead. Amen. I remember some years ago, uh -huh. before we had a telecast in Mobile, yeah. we was the radio broadcast, WMOB, if I'm not mistaken, that we're still yeah. on. I remember my first trip to Mobile, and the very first member was a brother oh, yeah. named Brother Hubbard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> brother Hubbard. <laughs> He loved, and I used love because that's past tense. He's out there in the world now. And if he's listening, I hope he come back to God. That's right. right. But I remember when he first came, his wife was truly a product of Satan. Yeah. Come on, and didn't mind letting everyone know she hated church yeah. and hated God. That's yeah. right. So the brother was sitting in the meeting house. We was renting a hotel ballroom and she was on the outside of the window come on. beating on the glass yeah. come on. telling him to come out. Mm -hmm. yeah. He looked and saw her and ignored her. Just kept looking at me preaching. She banged on that glass. That's right. He just kept looking at me preaching. Yeah. So I kind of looked over there at the glass but when I looked she kicked the shoes off, picked them up, and came in the meeting yeah. while I was preaching. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. And came and sat right next to her husband mm -hmm. and punched him. Boom. Oh. He went back and kept, couldn't take his eyes off me. That's him. right. He kept watching. That's right. She pushed him. He went back. He kept looking at me preaching. Yeah. She threatened him. He kept looking at me preaching. Right. And then she got up and walked out. Yeah. Okay. He said to me, I want to be saved. She don't. Yeah. So what's more important to me is my soul and not allow myself to give in to the violence right. Right. that was betrayed upon me at that time. Right. Yeah. See, one thing about the devil, he or she don't like to be ignored. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's if right. there's somebody, whether it's husband or wife, yeah. Yeah. Right. who's trying to yeah. be a deliberate distraction yeah. by trying to yeah. cause havoc right. and problems yeah. in your life, put God first yeah. and don't let them. Yes, sir. Have more power over you than God. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. 
See, because somebody quotes scripture, that don't mean they're godly. No. A person can quote scripture just to be antagonistic. That's right. The whole objective and motive in quoting scripture don't have to have God involved. That's right. That's right. Is that scripture? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's right. Did not Satan come to Jesus mm -hmm. while he fasted? While he fasted. And what did he come with them with? Scripture. Scripture. He quoted scripture to try to get Jesus to kill himself. That's right. As it is written. He kept referring to to what was, written. what was written. He told him, if thou be the son of God, dash thine feet upon the rocks. For it is written that, you know, the angels there come bear thee up. Yes. Quoting scripture, but with a different motive. That's right. And a different intent. That's right. So you have people that quote scriptures, but their motive and their intent is not to benefit you, but to make them feel like they are superior to you and you are beneath them. That's right. That's right, That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Go ahead, brother. Yes. Glory to God. Keep thy foot. Hallelujah. Amen. Keep your foot. When thou goest to the house of God. Keep your foot. Mm -hmm. Every auxiliary. Come on. Should come together. Not just to have meetings. No. But to have prayer. Prayer. Amen. 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 Yeah. I'm not talking about a little prayer that you hold hands. Oh. That's right. And just get in a circle. That's right. Father, lay me down to sleep. I pray my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray that God should my soul to take. God bless yeah. my bless. No. no. I'm talking about that auxiliary that get on your knees. Amen. Wherever you are. Yeah. And go back. To old fashioned yeah. prayer. Amen. That's right. Get on your knees and open your mouth. Amen. And cry out to God like you need something. Yeah. That's right. If you can come together to eat chicken and potato salad and candy yams and string beans, you should be able to come together and pull on heaven. Amen. 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 Oh, this is what the Holy Ghost brought today, and it's good. Oh, yes. Yes. Amen. When I was coming up, I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue when I was 11. Amen. Yeah. Come on. And at 11 years old, 12, 13, those that was in that age group when I was coming up, we would come together when there wasn't no church going on. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. Oh, yeah. That's all right. Go down to the church yeah. and have prayer. Yeah. We didn't put a time on it. Come on. No. Amen. We didn't care about time. Right yeah. We was 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. We got there at the front that you called the altar. Foundation. Foundation. Amen. Crying out to God. Yeah. Yeah. Good heart, good heart. Why? We wanted something. That's right. That's all right. When you're seeking the Holy Ghost, yeah. you ain't got to wait on no Tuesday night. You ain't got to have no security in the building to have oh. service. Oh. Go ahead, brother. Service go on if security die. <laughs> That's right. That's right. God. That's true. Yeah. God Almighty. When you want God, hmm. you come together. Yeah. That's right. One mind. One mind. One heart. Yeah. yeah. We were 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes. Receiving the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. Why? We wanted it. Yeah. Yeah. He that hunger and thirst at the righteousness shall be filled. That's right. You have to want it. That's right. Not coming church and his brother sitting here having a conversation with his wife. 
He can't even listen to the word. His wife keep nudging him, running off at the mouth. Can't you control your woman? Tell her, look, it's time for you to be quiet. The word is being preached. That's right. Then she gonna tell you, don't tell me to shut up. I said what I want. Well, if you got that attitude, why are you in church? Why you in there? And if you take it, where's your spine? That's right. That's right. When the Lord is in the holy temple, let the earth, let keep the earth be silent. Keep silence. The book said the Lord is in his holy temple. In the book of Habakkuk 2 and verse 20. Give chapter and verse again. In the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 20. Says what? But the Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. Is in his holy place. Let all the earth. How much? All the earth. What your wife got to say, what your husband got to say, wait. Amen. It's not an emergency. Wait. That's right. Let all the earth what? Keep silence before him. Who are you before? Before him. Before him. Yeah. All. All the earth. Before who? Before him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If there's any kind of rehearsal, mm. but the word of God is about to be taught. Mm -hmm. Keep silence. No, just turn the volume down. Keep no. silence. No, just still do it, but low key. Keep silence. Amen. Everything stop and shut down. That's right. Everything. That's all right. Everything. 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 Not standing outside just talking, running off at the mouth. That's right. Get off the church ground and come in and pray. That's right. Amen. Amen. This is all about God. Amen. You Amen. don't even have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Amen. And you're that casual? Mm. Go ahead, man. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. In order to function right for God, mm. you got to have His Spirit. Yes. That's right. That's right. Don't just repent of your sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and stop there. Amen. That's right. Come in God's house and fall on your knees. That's right. Cry out to God. Cry out to God. Surrender. Brother, you gonna be on duty tonight? No, I got I'm going I'm going to my knees after the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's right. Oh well, if you're gonna tarry, then you off the team. Oh no, I ain't. I'm gonna get on my knees and tie for the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Good teaching, brother. Holy Ghost Amen. is first Amen. priority. Amen. If I got the Holy Ghost and I'm not married, there's no need for me to get interested in a woman that don't have it and she's a sinner. That's right. If you're a sister and you have the Holy Ghost right. and you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, right. why are you declaring you engaged to a man who don't have the Holy Ghost? That's right. Good teaching, brother. The Lord says, don't Go ahead. be unequally yoked. Unequally yoked together. The moment you choose to do it your way, you have ignored God. That's right. Well, she's beautiful. God said. That's right. Don't be unequally yoked. That's right. With the unbeliever. For what fellowship? What involvement hath righteousness okay. with unrighteousness? How can you be so close right. to that sinner? That's right. That's true. Pastor Jenny, you got to see him. No, I don't. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Pastor Jenny, you got to see him. For what? For what? All flesh is grass. Amen. 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 What I got to see is the law. That's right. Or the spirit of life. That's right. That is in Christ Jesus. Amen. That has made me free Amen. from the law of sin and death. That's right. That's what I got to see first. Amen. That's why we tell the young people go, go after God first. Go Don't worry about no boyfriend. Don't worry about no girlfriend. That's right. God first. That's right. That way you don't be a single woman carrying a bunch of babies. Amen. That's right. And you don't be an unmarried man Amen. who refused to take care of those babies and add to the amount of bums Go ahead. that is in America. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's right. Amen. Go ahead. Am I right? Yes. Go ahead, brother. Yes. Go ahead, man. Yes. Go ahead. The holy book says what? Keep Amen. thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. Go and back to the book of Corinthians. 
Back in 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Listen at this. And at verse 14. What is it? Be ye not unequally yoked it, together. It ain't no need for one that's baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus and have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, mm -hmm. trying to get engaged or trying to propose marriage marriage to one that's not that's not one is in the body the other is not in the body that's right why do you have a joint account come on amen why is his name on your checks come go on. ahead why is he driving around in your car go ahead go ahead man go ahead man do you hear be, what god said be ye not don't you know you gotta have god in your decision making that's right stop thinking from between your legs there is no brains down there. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead, Pastor. Amen. Let me say it again. Go ahead. Stop thinking from between your legs. Amen. There are no brains down there. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. No brains. Go ahead, brother. Amen. Telling the truth. Go ahead, man. Yeah. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Go ahead. Break off the yeah. I said, you gonna air this? Oh yes. <laughs> That's right. I'm talking to the world. That's right. That's right. The word of God. Go ahead, man. The whole world need it. Pastor Paul said, I set all things in order when I come. That's right. Didn't he say so? That's right. And that's what the apostle does. God charges him to set all things in order. He don't send him out to make friends because he know he ain't going to have many. So he don't go out looking for them. That's right. I don't go out looking for a friend nowhere in the world. I go to preach the word. That's it. Whoever don't like it, I don't care. And whoever love it, I'm fine with that. That's right. As long as I'm on good terms with God, I don't care what the world think of me. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I'm an independent preacher. The holy book says what? Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Be ye not. Now, somebody wrote me, and let me answer you, that wrote me. Yeah. You asked me that if you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and the brother's baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, can you marry? Yes. yes. If you both don't have the Holy Ghost, but yet you both are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, yes, you can marry. Yes. But if one is baptized and have the Holy Ghost, they are in the body of Christ, because Paul said you're baptized by one spirit in, in to one body. Right. And if the other is still seeking the Holy Ghost and involved with you, you in their way. That's right. You're in that way. That's right. Here's one not in the body with his tongue down the throat of one that is in the body. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Unequally. Unequally. How in the world you gonna be hugging them and kiss them? They gonna tell them, I'm gonna help you pray to get me off your mind. You talk and think like a fool. You can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. That's right. I know from experience. I know from experience. And my wife, God bless her nice heart, can bear me witness. When she and I was engaged, we met when we was 14. When I met her, I already had the Holy Ghost. I already was baptized. She wasn't raised in no church. Come on, Bridget. Not at all. But she was raised from a mother and father that had good old fashioned morals yes, and Wonderful. strictness. Yeah. Wonderful. When yeah. she got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, I the one had the Holy Ghost. Yeah. She didn't. I was in her way. And I talked to her and told her, listen, we're going to stop communicating. I ain't calling you, and don't you call me. I'm not coming to your house. Don't you come to mine. We are fast with you and pray with you, but the communication, we shutting down. Because if I truly loved her, and which I did and do, her having the Holy Ghost was more important to me than having me. 
Amen. It was more important. Amen. I was a stumbling block. I was in my early teens. Yes. It's good teaching, man. Good example. It wasn't something my flesh wanted to do, but I knew I needed to. It wasn't something that she wanted to do, but she knew she needed to. And we did it. We, we did it. If, if I know I'm in your way, what am I just going to stand there for? That's right. Don't be a stumbling block to your brother or your sister. That's right. When I got out the way, later on she came through speaking in tongues. Let it go. Let it go. Amen. Amen. I backed off. She came through speaking in tongues. Then I came back. Came back. That's right. Came back and got hitched. Now, some of us is trying to talk to sinners with the mind already programmed. Yeah. I'm going to marry her or I'm going to marry him. Yes. So that means you are inviting them to church with the wrong agenda. That's right. Amen. You already got the wrong agenda in mind. Amen. That's right. Because your whole objective is to try to get them saved so you can marry them. So you can. Now the biggest mistake you can make is to tell, is to tell a sinner, I'm going to wait for you. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's right. God going to try what you say. Yes, he will. He'll do it. You're going to tell a sinner, I'll wait for you. And you have the Holy Ghost. He'll do it. That's right. And then all of a sudden, you start meeting other brothers and sisters who already have the Holy Ghost. Amen. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. 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 I don't take his own working on this, but <laughs> Holy Ghost certainly know what you need. Oh yeah, because a lot of you is in a predicament that God is dealing with now. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. You don't ever tell someone without the Holy Ghost, "I'm gonna wait for you." No. Because no. now you may do what Isaac done. Right. It is written, God heard it. God heard it. Yeah. Lord heard it. Isaac, yeah. after Ishmael bragged about his circumcision, yeah. Isaac come along bragging, well, if, if, if my father come along and present me as a sacrifice, <laughs> right. I, I go along, I do it. I'll do it. It is written, the Lord heard it. The Lord heard yeah. it. Before you know it, God tells Abraham, offer up your son Isaac. Yeah. It sounds good. To, it sounds good to God. That's right. Amen. That's right. Isaac should have just shut his mouth. Yeah. See, a lot of time it is your talk. That's right. That caused God to create a circumstance. Because you said, I will do this, I will do that, I will the other. God say, All right. That sounds good to me. Sound good. I'm going to create something in their life that's going to force them to live up to what they said in my eyes and in my ears. My Lord. Amen. One year go by. Yeah. Ain't got it yet. Come on, come on. Two years go Two years. by. Come on. Ain't got it yet. <laughs> come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. Now. Three years go by, the clock starts ticking, clock starts and because you're becoming impatient, if you're not careful, you will start trying to convince her. Oh, you got it. I heard you speak, and she, all she did was stammer. That's right. That's right. But because you're impatient now, you're trying to hurry up something that haven't came yet. Amen. Hmm? Go ahead, man. By that words, you're justified. Yeah. By that words, thou shalt be condemned. That's right. If you're not born again yeah. of the water and of the spirit like the word of God teaches, yeah. which is the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongue, yeah. not bow your head, not raise your hand, not join this church, not the hour of decision, not confess with your mouth and believe in your heart and you are saved. Right. None of that garbage. None of that. 
yeah. repenting of your sins, baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, having the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that, you're not born again. Not born again. You don't have the new birth. Now here's someone that do have it. Why are you making marriage promises? That's right. That's right. Amen. How is it? Amen. Woman, have you got that emotionally di diluted? Yeah. And mentally unstable? Yeah. You're going to tell a brother who don't even have God in him. Mm. I'll wait for you. Ask yourself, why are you going to wait? Why? Amen. You don't have to. That's true. Did you hear the, did you hear the advice back here? That's right. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> Why are you waiting? Amen. That's true. God may make you wait till you're 70. Yes. Not only that, suppose they backslide. Come on, preacher. But yeah, you threw the word out. I will wait. That's your word. So you ain't consider. Suppose they backslide. That's true. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Suppose something come from the word of God that offends them, Offend them. so much they denounce the book yeah. Amen. and blaspheme yeah. God. But you didn't think of that. Amen. You lead to your emotions yeah. and told them, I will wait by thine words. Word yeah. You're justified. Yeah. justified. Yeah. By thine words, shall yeah. be condemned. Thou shalt be condemned. Thy own words. Mm. Yeah. You older folk Amen. That's older than the young brothers and sisters In their teens mm -hmm. We ain't playing church match make here Go ahead brother yeah. Go ahead Don't you go To nobody in their teens And tell them You know what I think that young brother Will make you a good husband No Amen. Get a life. Amen. And leave theirs alone. Amen. That's right. This is not church matchmaking. Amen. That's right. Amen. They teach you, sir. That's right. You mothers, don't you go to other parents' sons and tell them, well, my daughter is interested in you. Come on. Don't you go to other daughters yeah. and tell them. Well, my son is interested in you. Amen. You tell them, tarry for the Holy Ghost. That's right. Go ahead, man. You young girls that are in college, don't you get caught up in no man. Get your education out the way. Amen. And let the man get out the way. You're telling the truth, preacher. Don't you quit school That's right. to marry some man. That's, That's right. right. Get your education under your belt. First. Face the fact. That's right. Young people marriages of today are not lasting. That's right, preacher. Get your education under your belt, woman. Go ahead. That's true. Yeah. Work. Amen. Ain't no sin if you get a job. Amen. That's right. No Save sin. your money. Amen. It's no sin, no sin if you got a separate bank account from your husband. That's right. Amen. No sin. If no you sin. work, you can save your money. That's Amen. right. Not work and then bring him the check. That's right. And he give you allowance Amen. from your own money. Amen. Go ahead, preacher. Preacher. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right is right. Am I right? Go ahead. Right is right. Your wife work? Set it in order. Why well, she got to give you her check? Go ahead. And you give her a measly twenty dollars. Go ahead. From her own money. Amen. You're right, brother. You are right. Go ahead, man. You know you're right. Am I right? I said. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These young men yes. of today, yes. they're backward. Yes. And some of you young women is just as backward. Yes. You don't mind working and taking care of some man. What's the matter with you? A grown man laying around who's not sick. Ain't nothing wrong with him. He just don't want to work. And you agree to it. As long as he drop you some pipe, am I right? Go ahead, brother. Yeah, you're breaking it down. As long as he drop 
you some pipe, Amen. you gonna lay around and take care of bum. His hands refuse to labor. I don't care who it offends. Go ahead, brother. If you a woman like that, you don't love yourself. Go ahead. Preach God's word. You will agree to take care of man who refuse to work. His hands refuse to labor. Hey, do you hear the Bible talking? In the, Pro in the book of Proverbs 21 and at verse 25. Call chapter and verse again. Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 25. What the word said. The desire of the slowful. The desire of the lazy. Killeth him. Lazy. That's by the spirit. Amen. God said it. Yeah, the yeah. desire of the slowful. The desire of the lazy. Killeth him. It kills him. For his hands. For his hands. Refuse to labor. Come on. I want to work. Wow. work. Come on. Listen, Jack, if I'm married and got kids yeah. and I'm not working. Oh, and if one of my brothers say, Brother David Wade has come to me and say, yo, Gino. Hey, look, man, I heard you ain't got a job. But look, my company's hiring, man. Mm -hmm. And. You, you, you have to be on your feet 20, 15 hours a day. Yeah. Go to work. I got kids. I'm going. Oh, yeah. I don't even tell them, well, I, I don't do that. I, don't I, do that. I got <laughs> flat feet. <laughs> <laughs> if I want to take care of my kids, I'm going to get the right shoes, That's right. right support. That's right. That's right. If I got to come home bent oh, over, yeah. my kids got to eat. Go ahead. Now I know many men that are watching are sick of me working on this. <laughs> That's right. Which verifies you a bum. Amen. Verifies it. Go ahead. And I blame some women. Go ahead. Amen. Because you have spoiled these no good bums. That's right. Spoiled them. Spoiled you have them. took care of them like they were a baby. That's right. They That's refuse right. to work, refuse and you keep making to excuses. Yeah. You men yeah. who don't have a job, yeah. don't just sit at home on the internet and no. search. No. You go got out. to go the old time way. Go, out. go, out. go outside. Right. Knock on doors. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Come on. Go ahead. Are you listening? Yeah. All this is tied in tied with holiness. In. Yeah. That's right. Yes, You're right. Because God said. The desire of the slowful. The desire. Yeah. Amen. The reason why we tell you young girls to leave boys alone, you in school. True. One of the worst things can happen to you is get pregnant. Yeah. Now you got to drop out of college. Okay. That's right. To take care of some bum's A child. Bum. Yeah. Amen. And the bum is not going to be there for the child he helped me. That's right. That's good teaching, brother. So now you got to work. Good teaching. And still try to study. Still try to. And now it may be overwhelming. That's right. You got to get two and three jobs. Then you got to argue with some bum. That's right. That want to be respected as a man. Go ahead, brother. Tell the people. Tell the people, brother. It's good teaching. You see why they hate Pastor Jennings? Amen. I love to ruffle the feathers of the fallen angels. That's right. That's right. That's right. They are hell's angels. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. No man that comes to church. That's Mary. That's right. Mm -hmm. No woman should have to argue with him no. about taking care of his children. No. Never. We love that word. Never. Love your word. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Amen. This is old fashioned holiness. That's right. That's good. Go ahead, brother. I say I agree. Amen. Ain't no need to speak in tongue. No you won't take care of your children. No need. Ain't no need to quote a half a scripture. That's right. You won't take care of your children. That's right. Work on it. Take Amen. Your time. We worked on this in Baltimore. Yes. 
When Paul said to bring you the same thing, it's for your safety. That's right. Safe. Do you hear what it says? In 1 Timothy 5 and verse 8. 1 Timothy 5 and 8 says, But if any, if that got everybody. That's right. Any. Black, white, yellow, red, short, tall, fat, skinny, ugly, handsome. That's right. All of them. Speak tongue, no tongue. No tongue. But if any, if any, provide not for his own, provide not for his own, and especially for those, especially those of his own house. Look how God deal with it. He hath denied the faith. You, especially those of your own house. Own house. He have denied what? He hath denied the faith. I don't care what you do that pertains to the faith. God don't honor it. That's right. He don't honor you quoting scriptures. He don't honor you going to church. No. Yes. He don't honor you working in the church. That's right. Work on it, preacher. He don't honor you saying amen to the word. No. Because you know a lot of folks say amen to everything else. But when I get on this subject, that's right. That's true. Preacher. Preacher. That's right. Mom's the word. Mom's the word. That's right. I desire our young people, if they have a desire to be married, you want to have a sense of pride, if I've used that word, yes. of what you married. That's right. If a young man ever one day have a mind to marry my daughters, mm -hmm. the law is he be not even propose mm -hmm. until he talked to me and my wife. That's right. He but not even suggest engagement. That's he right. but not even suggest it. That's right. And did he come talk to the parents? Yeah. Amen. Because I may see something in him yeah. that my emotionally diluted daughter may not see. That's right. <laughs> you know, because when someone is your first real love, a lot of things you may not see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Got a dad for that. That's right. Very true. Amen. I want to say I'm. Oh, I'm glad he ain't my father. Good father. That's a good father, buddy. Oh yeah. You know why? I want whatever young man my daughter bring home and marry. I want to. Why you think? Look at the title, son-in-law. Son-in-law. I want to be just as proud to have him as a son-in-law as I am to be proud of my own son. I don't want him to be a son-in-law in title. I want to have just as much proud of the fact he's my son-in-law as I am my own son. I don't want her to marry in embarrassment. Some trifling, no good bum who don't even want to wash. Amen. He just wash on the Sabbath. Work on it, preacher. You need to marry someone who just want to have sex, have sex, come have on, sex. Come on, come on. Preach, preach. Go ahead, brothers. My daughters are used to having a roof over their head. Yeah. They are used to eating. Yeah. They are used to having clothes on yeah. their back. Yeah. They don't have to settle for less. Yeah. That's right. You don't marry a man that's going to have you in the street. Yeah. Talk back to me. Yeah. 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 You women, love yourself. Yeah. And stop being so holy, you think you got to settle for less. They ain't holy, you's a fool. That's right, brother. You're telling the truth. Go ahead. You need this. You need this. I don't beat my wife. My daughters better not marry a man that beat them. That's right. I don't push my wife. My daughters better not marry a man that push them. I don't cuss my wife out. My daughters better not marry a man that use one foul word to them. Because if they bring them to my door, I want to know that's the best you can do. That's right. That's right. That's the best you can do. Amen. That's not even good recycled goods. Amen. Preacher. Work on it. Go ahead, brother.
when he sit at my table, I want to have a sense of pride. That's right. And that pride got to be there before they say I do. When you are emotionally diluted, you say, well, ah. Uh, well, I don't love him, but if I marry him, I can learn to love him. See, that type of thinking calls me to stagger. That's right. <laughs> Suppose you never love, fall in love with him. That's another problem. A lot of you don't know the difference between loving and being in love. Because most people ain't never been in love. You ask most married people, do you love them? Yeah. Are you in love? They say, yeah. You know why? A lot of them don't know the difference between either. But when you get some good teaching and notice the separation between love and in love, then it makes you like, oh, well, wait a minute. Don't ever let no one come to you and say we're soul mates and yet they don't understand the meaning of a soul. That's right. How are you going to say you're a soulmate? Where your soul at? That's right. Do you even know what it is? That's right. Can you explain it? That's right. Can you define it? That's right. If a brother say to you, well, I think God gave you to me. And he keeps saying that. <laughs> brother, I advise you to ask that girl, do you think, you know, God gave me to you? Because she may not feel the same way. That's right. That's right. That's right. Great and if you don't feel that way, stop hesitating. Be a lot of bush. Just tell him no. Amen. <laughs> he claims he's a man. He can take it. He can take Amen. it. Same way with you, brother. Amen. That's true. Are well, you listening to the old troublemaker? Trouble. Troublemaker. This is Easter. <laughs> That's right. Eh? That's right. Well, this is one egg that got a nice get a nice some good stuff in it. Good protein. Go ahead. Go ahead. You young and inexperienced don't become emotionally diluted and mentally incapacitated. Oh yeah. Mature. That's right. And to do that, you must learn mature lessons through teaching. Through teaching. That's right. Stay out of a young girl's way if she in college. That's right. Let her finish her education. Yes. Encourage her to go on with God and education. Amen. Don't sneak and go behind your parents' back and get his number. That's right. Now you're acting like a trifling hoe. Amen. Especially if the brother's in the same church you're in. Amen. He hear what the word is preaching, and yet you're going behind your leader and disrespecting him behind his back. And if brother, you agree to it, you know you ain't good for marrying. Because you're not even honoring leadership. That's right. If you're not honoring it before you get married, you ain't gonna honor, honor it after you get married. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's good, Pastor. Gotta honor leadership. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Go against leadership. Go ahead. If my sister hear this teaching and have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, and she go to a brother that don't have it, look, we, we got to stop. I mean, right. you need the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's right. How you gonna tell them on Monday? Morning, we, we got to cut it off. And then by Monday night, you in the bed with them wrestling. Come on! Get some stability about you. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Am I right, I said? <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. I know most of you have never sat in church this long. <laughs> but this is good to the last drop. Yeah. The last drop. You good. Young brothers, get your education out the way. Out the way. Pursue God first. Amen. Get your education out the way. Amen. Worry about girls later. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I tell my sons, I ain't ready to be no granddaddy. Amen. And I ain't gonna be no granddaddy and nobody married. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Young girls, don't be fast. Amen. That's right. Yeah. And don't have a ghetto mentality. 
Amen. Loud and wild and crazy. Amen. All out in the street and they can hear you round a corner. Come on. That's right. Yeah, come on. You young men want to marry someone, you want them first to fear God. God. Don't settle for what you don't want. No. And don't start bringing a bunch of girls to the house and a bunch of boys to the house for your parents to meet. Amen. You don't want to look like a slut or a male hoe. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. That's right. That's right. You want to bring Bill to the house, that relationship don't work. You bring Jeff to the house, that relationship don't work. You bring Barney, hello everybody, that don't work. <laughs> One after the other. One after the other. <laughs> So when you do it right, tell your children, don't you bring nobody Amen. to this house. Go ahead. Amen. Get God first, get your education, and then later we'll yeah. talk. Later. Right. Later. later. We'll talk later. Because a brother is interested in you, have some maturity about you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Be respectful. Amen. That's right. I can respect the brother who, if he got interested in my daughter and come talk to me, I can respect. Oh, yeah. I re he's showing me respect. Oh, yeah. Amen. Pastor Jennings, you know, I got interest, blah, 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 blah. All right. Because right off the back, he's going to tell me, I already know what you teach. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Because that's what I'm waiting to hear. <laughs> huh? My ears become like lips. Go ahead, man. Now, if he already know what I teach, uh -oh. and then he respect what I teach, uh -oh. fine young man. Amen. But if he gonna tell me, I know what you teach, mm -hmm. just to butter me up, I'm one piece of bread who can no, don't need butter. Don't need butter. Butter don't work with me. No, it don't. Because as a father, it is my job to protect my sons and daughters right. even if I got to disagree with them as long as it protects them that's right, Amen. That's, right. that's why I will not tolerate church matchmaking from adults Go ahead. in church don't you go push your daughters off on these young brothers Amen. and don't you go push your sons Amen. off on these young girls yeah. Go ahead, man. go ahead go ahead get them are you listening to the old man? Go ahead, brother. Don't let nobody push their children on yours. That's right. That's wrong. Don't be sending emails, young folk, and text messages. That's wrong. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. There was a young sister. I had an email retrieved, and she put an email out about my son Cameron. I call him Reds. And she laid claim on him. Oh. Don't you know the public see your emails? You embarrass the church. That's right. That's right. And I tell my sons, you better be sending emails out to no sister that I can't read. Amen. That's right. Your conversation better be seasoned with salt and right. Yeah. If you can't get off the computer, Amen. that goes for all men and all women. Amen. 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 You represent the church, even on church Facebook. Amen. Yes. Uh, ain't nothing should be on there but that which is decent and in order. And in order. If anything else on there, get that trash off there. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Wonderful. Use it lawfully. Use it right. Amen. You don't use Facebook to propose to somebody. Same no. Then get your face out the book. That's right. Yes. Facing the wrong book. Facing the wrong book. Amen. As a young woman, there's a difference between a young woman and a young lady. That's right. Big difference. Big difference. You grow up and become a woman just by age and maturity and from the physical perspective. But that don't mean you're a lady. When you're a lady, you're not forward, you're not flirtatious, you're not so quick. When you see a brother that you like, you're like a superhero. 
Your clothes just still blowing. <laughs> no! Oh, no. <laughs> no! Are you listening? Go ahead. Go ahead, preacher. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Raise your children up according to the faith. Yeah. According yeah. to the faith. No parent mm -hmm. should be proud about the fact your children or child have a babies or babies and they ain't married. Yeah. And you children need to understand Amen. the burden Amen. you put on your parents. Amen, Amen. preacher. Amen. Amen. Work on it, preacher. Work on it. And when your parents tell you that, well, they old fashioned. They don't understand. They do understand. That's why they try to tell you to keep your drawers on and your bra snap. All right. You the one that's green. You the one that don't understand. You the one that don't even understand your own body. That's right. We preach that. Yes, sir. Isn't the parents that don't know? Some of the parents know because many of them have made that mistake. Yeah. And they are students, they know. That's right. And a wise parent don't want their children to go down the same path to commit the same crime. Amen. Yeah, that's right. They learn. Let us get it in your mind. There's nothing wrong with being a virgin. That's right. Preacher. That's right. That's right, preacher. Nothing. Nothing. Amen. Stop thinking that something is wrong because you don't have sex. Stop thinking that. Go ahead. Amen. Yes, sir. That's old school learning. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. It ain't nothing wrong Amen. with being a virgin. Amen. That's right. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, yeah. Ain't nothing proud about having a whole list of men behind your name and a Come list on. of women. That's you got right. enough stickers on you like a Mack truck that went through the country. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Mississippi, Alabama, North Dakota, South Dakota, yeah. California, Go Petersburg, ahead. Florida, Slow down. Virginia, North Carolina, South Slow Carolina. Yeah. Maine, Boston, slow Connecticut. Yeah, slow down, slow down. Like you an evangelist. That's right. Where's the pride? Where's the pride? Yeah. Mm. Slow your road. Amen. Why are you not ashamed Amen. to be 15 year old and pregnant? Come on. That's right. Why you ain't ashamed? Hello. Amen. What are you doing giving? A baby shower. Come on, preacher. And the baby was born out of fornication. Amen. Come on, preacher. Go ahead. Work on it, preacher. Yes. Go ahead. No. Same no. Rule. Yes, sir. Same Church rule. don't give baby showers no. to have fornication. No same way. Rule. No. no. We got the same rule, preacher. Paul said, should I praise you in this? Praise you Paul not. said, I praise you not. Praise you not. Same rule. We walk by that same route. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. You pregnant? You not married? Sit down. Yeah. Don't get on no choir. Don't usher. Don't testify. Don't do nothing. Amen. Sit down. That's right. Good word. Have some shame. That's right. Amen. Not gonna look down on you, but have some shame. Amen. That's right. Yeah. I'm not going to praise you, but have some shame. That's right, preacher. That's right. That's right. Young men just can't yeah. keep going around making babies like you with the Salvation Army. Amen. Go ahead, preacher. Go ahead, preacher. Amen. Go ahead, go ahead. So you young man can't go around having babies Amen. like you with the Salvation Army. Amen. Yeah. These modern day fathers are becoming younger and younger. Yeah. 13. No, 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 no. 14. Yeah. 15. Amen. What a 14 year old boy know about being a father? Oh, no. All he knows that sex feel good. Yeah. That's all. That's all. Responsibility. Nothing else. 
Don't even know what responsibility is. No. Yeah. Can't even buy toilet paper for Come his on. own self. How can he buy a pack of diapers for a child he can't take care of? Amen. Preach God's word. You parents that are watching, many of you are the blame. Not all, many of you. That's God's word. You let your child boyfriend spend the night under your roof. That's right. You let your child boyfriend. That's right. What a 13 year old doing with a boyfriend. Amen. Send that little bum home back to his own parents. Amen. Go ahead, man. Amen. I just want to sit in my house no. and waste my electricity. No. Swing on my porch no. chair. Walk on my lawn. No. Be gone. That's right. That's right, preacher. Don't even ring my doorbell. That's right. If you don't respect yourself when you're young, you will never be able to demand respect when you get older. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Yes. Ain't no boy gonna respect you and you acting like what old folk used to call a floozy. Come on, y'all. That's right. All loose and over the place. Come on. It's sad to have a rep in school yeah. as being the high school hoe. The middle school hoe. That's right. What is that to be proud of? Brother, what is that to be proud of? You ain't married and you knocking up every girl you can find making baby after baby. You got the nature of a beast. Yes. Amen. Yes. Many of you watching, you upset now <laughs> because you know you a dog. Go ahead. A baby down the street, a baby up the street, a baby across the street, a baby around the corner, a baby a few blocks up, a baby in the back of the house, a baby in the side of the house, baby, 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 just baby after baby. That's right. One man, one man, with about seventeen different women pregnant. Yeah. Come on, my lord. And you are proud to be in the number. I'm glad to be in the number no. one more time. No, no, no. 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 I preach this hard because it's a young generation coming up behind us. Yeah. yeah. And they have to learn to control their seed. That's it. Go ahead, preacher. Don't spill it until you marry. That's right. Go ahead, brother. That's right. That's right. It's good teaching, brother. Celebrate marriage. Well, you listen to the old man. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I can't sit under that man preaching. It's too strict. Come on. I, I'm used to being out there. Take I've got the to be free. The that, that kind of teaching keep me in bondage. in bondage. That kind of teaching keep you from being a hoe. That's right. That's right, preacher. That's right. That's right, preacher. We preach the same thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Brother, stop trying to talk to every sister in church. Go ahead. And one year you done talked to seven different sisters. Yes, yes, yes. One year. And proposed to ten. <laughs> I'm telling you, in today's society, many of you may not like what I'm saying. It's the truth. But it's true. In today's society, young people' marriage are not lasting because most people don't know what they're getting into. Right. Most young people, when they got married, they didn't get married knowing what they was doing. They didn't have no counsel. They didn't have no advice. So in their mind, they was ready until they started being receiving in of knowledge. Come on. That's right. Come on. That's right. Yeah. Come on. Everything is not marriage material. No. Yeah. No. Just like all fabric is not made for dresses and curtains. That's right. You don't get soup fabric to make a bedspread. No, 
you don't get curtain fabric no. to make a dress. No. Am <laughs> I hanging you up in your dining room? No. Be able to understand fabric. That's good teaching. Understand what the person consists of. Right. And to do that, that takes time. You got to look past shouting and shaking. Yes. And the reason why time is important, because that shaking may not be the Holy Ghost. That's right. But if you give yourself time, you'll see In past time. it. That's right. I'm telling you, as your leader, you know how many men came in first church jumping and shouting, get to smuggle you out. Came in church, just move. Hey, glory. Shaka, 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 shaka. Speaking in tongue, calling shaka, come. Shaka, 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 shaka. You know how many sisters came in church, jumping and shouting, yeah. and when a brother found out she ain't married, right on him. Come on, yeah. yeah. That's right. Look past the tongue. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Look past the movement. Yeah. 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 They can have Tourette's. Yeah. <laughs> Look past it. Yeah. Before you make a declaration of love, Come on. that's right. You better understand it. And it's more than having a warm feeling in your gut. That's right. Most gutly warmth can be cured by Pepto Bismo. Yes. 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 A laxative yes. can remove the warmth. Yes. Yes. Cool you off. Yes. Cool you off. Now, I know many don't like this. Yeah. And you know by now it doesn't yeah. matter to me if you don't. No, no. Look at the young people of America. These young girls becoming pregnant younger and younger. Yeah. That's right. And who's left holding the bag? Come on, preacher. Their mother. That's right. If you a grandmother, you should be able to enjoy being a grandmother, yeah. not be forced to yeah. be a grandmother. Yeah. Who do you find in the clinics today with the children? The grandmother. Yeah. Who do you find dragging the children back and forth to school? The grandmother. The His grandma did already raised her children. Right. Now she got to raise her own children's children. Amen. Why the young girl out partying? Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. Woogie, woogie. Grandma all tired. <laughs> Grandma I'm pushing a stroller and got one in the arm. That's right. Yeah. While her daughter's out getting knocked up all over again. Yeah. You're working on dirt. Work on it. Work on it. Go ahead, brother. And you got the audacity to get upset with me. Amen. Stay mad with you. Stay mad. Yeah, they'll get mad at you. Go ahead, man. Younger and younger, yes. more and more pregnant. That's yeah. right. And now the girl's mother got to leave work. Yeah. Her job and life is interrupted. Her home life. Grandma should be able by now to enjoy herself. That's right. Relax. Yeah. Go ahead, man. Mm, she done already raised hers. Now got to be forced all over again yeah. to raise all her grands. And many of the young folk don't care. You already call making a date with another man who's not even the father of your child. You didn't even ask your mother to watch it. You automatically done committed her by telling him, oh yeah, I'll be there. That's right. As if your mama ain't got nothing to do. Go ahead, bro. Being a grandmother should be a privilege, not a burden. That's right. That's right. Talk to me. Yeah. You know I'm telling the truth. Many of you looking at me frowning because you don't like it. Yes. But it's God's word. God's word. 
Amen. If you don't love God's word, then you are a hater of God. Amen. 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 You young girls, yes. keep your virginity. That's it. No babies That's right. until you marry. That's right. You young boys, keep your virginity. Yes. Don't go making no babies till you get married. That's right. That's right. That's right. Good teaching. Keep it that way. Yes. Yeah. Are you listening? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with being a virgin. No. Virgin is not a bad word. No. Stop thinking it is. No. You don't have to prove nothing to your friends by having sex. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. Take your time. Don't let no girl tell you, well, you know, you, you know I'm into you, no. you know, I'm into you, and, uh, you know, I, I give you some, you know. Uh, you know give you, man, give you a, a peek. <laughs> and you sitting there? That's right. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't see, I didn't see, I didn't see, I didn't see. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Show me again, show me again. You ain't never saw it before, you know. You ain't, you ain't never saw it before. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Come on, preacher. See, you done bugged him out now. Bugged him out. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, he's gone. How many others did she show her breasts yeah. to? That's right. That's right. That's right. You 13, 14, and 15 doing this? Yeah. Already? Already. You 13, 14, and 15, and you already showing your breast to folk? That happens. Every parent in the world yes. need to have themselves and their children yes. under the teaching of holiness. Oh. Yes. Finish up Timothy real quick and we'll be out your way. Still in 1 Timothy 5 and verse 8. Who give me the correct time, brothers? Give me the time quickly, please. Go ahead, what is it, 3.30? Thank you. Come on, read quick. But if any provide not for his own, if especially for those not for of his, his own, own house. Especially of his own house. He hath denied the faith. Mm. You and don't it. have the right to ask that woman or children to respect you. No. Yeah. No. Because God don't respect you. That's right. God said you denied him. He hath denied the faith. Well, you denied the faith, you denied God, and how do God feel about you? And is worse than an infidel. You're worse. He look at you as being worse. Worse. Than an unbeliever. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You men that are watching around the world. Yeah. You should have enough self-respect. Where the woman should not have to take you to court <laughs> to force you to take care of what's yours. I'm not talking to you that are taking care of your children and the woman just want to drain you out your money. I ain't talking about that. That's right. I'm talking about you men that ain't giving a dime at no time. Yeah, no time. <laughs> That's right. Getting all free. Not a dime. Listen, if I'm working. I got to give some money to take care of them children. That's yeah. right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Like we preach in Baltimore. That's if I right. owe Williams fifty dollars, Williams got to wait. He got to oh, wait. Yeah. I got to take care of my children that's first. Right. That's, that's, right. Right. that's right. That's right. That's right. If I owe Brother David forty dollars, he gonna have to wait. Oh, yeah. If I owe Taj a hundred, he got to wait. Now, some of you ignorant men that are watching me, you left your wife and children to take care of another woman's on, children and her. Yeah. You's a dumb, ignorant, hell-deserving fool. That's right. You women that are watching me, if 
a man won't take care of his, please, what make you think? He gonna take care of yours. And if you see he won't take care of his, and he offered to take care of yours, don't accept the offer. Don't belittle yourself. If he will walk away from his, send him back to his. That's right. That's right. Keep your dignity by not accepting his offer. That's right. God, every man on the earth ought to say amen to this. Amen. Amen. You won't take care of your children uh. while you're asking your wife for sex. No sex, write checks. That's what you do. No sex, you should write checks. Write checks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go, Amen. Go ahead. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Go ahead. Glory to God. We have hundreds of men around the world, thousands in some areas. You're not the only one hearing this teaching. That's right. We were working on some of this Friday night. And I know some got upset. But it was a gang of folk up here who came to meet me after service. A lot of them was men. You know what some of those men said to me? Thank you. Yes. Word of God. Yes. Word of God. Word of God. Yes. Friday night of this week, yes. many men that was up here said thank you. Yes. I'm, I'm going to get myself together. Yes. There was what some mentioned to me, two mentioned to me and said, you know what? I thought I was a man until I heard you. He said, before I heard you, I realized I wasn't no man. I didn't even understand what it was. See, a lot of us think a man is based upon your anatomy or the size of your hands. If you get my drift. Size of your hands or the size of your feet. Right, right, right. But even that tell a lie. Go ahead, brother. That ain't always true. Are you listening to the old man? I want to make it so real, so it real. pierced your soul. Men talk to me. Thank you. I appreciate your teaching. It made me want to take care of my family. Had men write me. I, I wasn't taking care of my family until I heard you. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the and these, some of these are sinners. Encourage Amen. Sinners are saying thank you. <laughs> and then you got some folks speaking in tongue buck dancing. <laughs> That's buck dancing. Don't want to hear it. Well, every time I come to church, you got to keep working on this, you know, taking care of children, all that stuff. I don't need no man tell me what to do. Oh, yes, you do. God said, how can you hear without a preacher? The moment you, the moment you said, I don't need no man to tell me what to do, you lied on God. That's a lie. That's right. The moment you say it. That's right. The moment you say that you lied on God. That's right. Because God said, how can you hear without a preacher? How can he preach? Except to be sent. You just notice many subjects we deal with, many men say amen. Yeah. But when we deal with this, it's the tight lip syndrome. Go ahead, man. You make men. That's right, sir. Don't you know God sent me to make men? That's right. Thank you. We want men to come out of here. Go ahead, brother. Not baby makers. Men. God fearing, respectable, intelligent, humble, real, disciplined, honorary men. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. That 
that's what a real woman wants. Yeah, it be. But believe it or not, in today's society, you asking for too much. Yeah. Amen. And you know that's pitiful. Yeah. Amen. That's pitiful. Yeah. In today's society, Amen. you asking for too much. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Our children that are in the teens, what's out here for them to marry? That much. Yeah. What is out here for them to marry? Come on, preacher. Preacher. Yeah, you working on it, preacher. You got children in your teens and in your Come 20s? On, it's fearful. That's right. yeah. What is out here for them to marry? Somebody who ain't going to smack them around. Come on, yeah. That's right. That's the truth. Who ain't going to use them? That's the truth. And abuse them. That's the truth. Amen. Take advantage of them. That's the truth. Very few. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody here who don't believe this preaching? I believe. You don't need to be here. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, preacher. Yeah, that's a problem. Preach it. Huh? Preach it. Amen. That's a problem. We got young men. Yes. Yeah. Ryan, come here, son. Yes. How old are you, son? Ten. Ten. Come here. And ten years. He's going to be 20. Yeah. 15 years, he's going to be 25. 20 years, he's going to be 30. Well, this teaching got to start molding his mind now. That's right. That way he know what to expect. When a woman, a girl, try to be forward with him. He know how to say, oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, sister. You know, you're being very disrespectful. Yeah. Besides showing his teeth and going along with it. That's right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. This teaching protects him. Yeah. This teaching protects your sons. Yeah. Amen. It protects your daughters. Yeah. Amen. Now, who will be upset with me but a bum? That's yeah. right. That's up. That's but a bum. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. I'm protecting your children. I'm protecting your sons. I'm protecting your daughters. Because your sons and your daughters, they are my children. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Good teaching, brother. It is my job. As a watchman. To tell your children everything. Hallelujah! Yeah. Everything! The angel delivered the apostles out of prison and told them, go in the temple and tell the people all the words of this life. It is too many single young women that is working, tired, exhausted, trying to raise children on their own. Go ahead. Right. Well, he just want to ride a car. Come on, preacher. Go ahead. Work on it. You're right. Slouch down the car down. and want to get laid. Because That's right. Amen, preacher. Richard, Richard, you Richard, Richard, you're Richard, working on it. Richard. Go ahead, man. See, the only ones that protest this yeah. is them that are guilty. That's right, preacher. Yeah. Right. Right. Working on my family. Yeah, family. yeah. Right. And you will find brothers right around the church. Not many, but a few. I don't agree with that. Yeah. I don't agree with that. Only bums don't agree with it. That's right. Think of it. A man disagree with taking care of his kids. Of his own A man. Of his own. And you got the nerve to want respect from a woman. Not even God respect you. That's right. That's right. Deny the faith. Worse than an infidel. A woman shouldn't have to keep arguing with you. You need to, listen. When you gonna take care of your kids? That's right. That's right. Do it now. Yeah. That's right. When a woman ain't have to argue with you to lay down with her. That's right. She didn't have to argue with you to plow the land. If you don't want to take care of no babies, keep your drawers on. Amen. 
That's good hardcore teaching. That's right. Good teaching. Good teaching. Good teaching. Good teaching. Good teaching. That's right. Yeah. 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 Good. Go ahead, brother. Oh, this is a good telecast. Yes, it is. Amen. See, I know some of you may have thought I forgot I was over there. I didn't. We're dealing with everyday life. I travel the world. I talk to thousands and thousands of people. I deal with the same thing in every state and in every country I go in. Women pregnant and are abandoned. Amen. Raising two, three, four children. Come on, preach. Yes. No help. No help. No help. No help. No help. Mm. Preach it. No help. Man think he's doing something because he give a five dollars. Come on, preach. After six months go by. Come on, That's right. Then he said, I, I gave you something. What five dollars. What is that? Five dollars. You spend more than that at McDonald's. Your children ain't worth more than that. Amen. Before I eat, I'm talking about a real man. A real man is like this. Before I eat, I'm making sure my children eat. That's right. That's what that's the way a real man is. Amen. Amen. Are you are you listening at the old man? Go ahead, brother. This type of teaching exists before all of us was born. But as you notice, I get a larger response out of some older men. Yes, you know, that may be in their 30s and 40s and 50s. They be like, that's right. Yeah. Well, they used to hearing that. But a lot of the young and dumb, they be like, hmm, I'm taking care of no baby. I ain't, ain't taking care of no baby. <laughs> You get married, you want to be honored about what you marry. Be proud to say, I'm, I'm his wife. Be proud to say, I'm her husband. Yeah. You're walking down the street with a sister, and she's walking like a lady, and you're right next to her. Well, you know. Come on, man. Like, like you the hunchback of Notre Dame. Where's the pride, man? Where's the pride? Amen. At your pants hanging down with your drawers showing. Go ahead. What's the matter with you? Amen. What man? Go ahead, brother. Wanna show his behind in public? Amen. You ain't gay, so you say. Then why you want other men to see your drawers? That's right. other men to look at your behind go ahead you ain't gay go ahead so you say <laughs> why do you want other men to see your draws a real man don't want to show his behind to other men that's right am i right man yeah. talk to me yeah. You men that are married, you men that got in mind to get married. If you can't even take care of yourself, amen, amen. don't even talk about marriage. That's right. I remember one of my young brothers came to me out of Newport News. He said, Pops, I want to get married. He said, but hey, I can't even take care of myself yet, man. So there's no need for me to go try to go out there and marry. I said, boy, you listening, ain't you? He said, yeah, Pops, I ain't crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's wise. That's all right. That's a wise man. Yeah. That's all right. Church is not about matchmaking. That's right. Not designed for that. That's right. A woman that's a real woman wants something respectable. Amen. You don't want to marry something that's an embarrassment. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Are you listening? Yes. You have a child or children? Take care, take care of them. Amen. Amen. Don't need to make a baby you can't take care of. Can't take yeah. care of them. That's common sense. Common sense. That's right, preacher. That's right. That's right. 
not just take care of them by giving them counsel, giving them advice. No, you got to put food on that table. Clothes on the back. Bills got to be paid. That's right. That's the truth of it. The Lord said, if a man provide him not, but if any provide not for his own, not for his own, and especially and for we're gonna close with this of his own house, especially those of his own house. Now you can talk about this on the way home that you don't believe it. Oh, it's in there. That's right. And I know some of you will say, "Well, you know what? I know he's talking about me." No, you know I'm talking about you. <laughs> so only a guilt, only a guilty man gonna say that. Say that. Amen. That's only a guilty man gonna say that. That's right. That's right. That's all. Out of the abundance of the heart, what happened? Now speaking. You preach it, sir. Yeah. It happens to us. You men that minister, hammer on this. Hammer on. Hammer. Hammer on it. That's right. Oh yeah. Talking about the love of Jesus is good. Yeah. But you better hammer on the structure of the home. That's good teaching, brother. We will, brother. Go ahead, preach. We will. There's too many women left carrying a bag all by themselves yeah. all across America. Oh, yeah. It's an epidemic. There's no sense of shame. Some men can bear witness because many of them were raised by their mother because their father walked out on them. That's right. That's right, preacher. But if your father wasn't there, you can't use it as an excuse. No, it's true. Amen. Because if you got common sense because your father wasn't there, you should want your children not to go through the same thing. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Learn from it. I've heard behind the shadows uh, the reason why Pastor Jennings can preach that because he had a father there for him. No, the reason why I can preach that because it's God's word. That's right. And it don't take away the fact, yes, I'm glad and I'm thankful that I had a real thoroughbred pop. Amen. Go ahead, preacher. Amen. Mad at me. Every man didn't have a father. Every man right. But many had a good, strong mother. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And a good, strong mother, she going to instill in you the same thing I'm teaching. That's right. The same thing. Yeah. Old folk call it mother wit. Values. Yeah. That's right. 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 You brothers right. in the church, if you ain't taking care of your children, don't you function in the church at all. No. Amen. No. You are an embarrassment. Get yeah. That's right. Don't function no. in nothing. That's, nothing. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Sit yourself down. Yeah, go ahead, preacher. Go ahead. That's the truth of it. Yeah. That is it. If you can buy McDonald's for yourself, you can put some money in the hands of your wife. That's right. Now you can buy Burger King for yourself. You can pay some bills. That's right. That's right. That's true. That's true. Am I right? Yeah. Oh, come on. You can talk better than that. If you can buy yourself a shirt, pants, drawers, t shirt, you can put some food on that plate. That's right. A real man will neglect himself yes. because he loves his children. Yes. Amen. Go ahead, buddy. You can't speak in tongue over it. No, you can't. You can't shake one leg like you, Elvis. You can't scream like a James Brown. No. This scripture is too high to jump over, too wide to get around. That's right. You get around. Yeah. It's God's law. You brothers in the churches preach it, enforce it. That's right. Yes. It's the order of God. Yes. Amen. You can't hide under the name Jesus. That's right. Go ahead, brother. And Jesus said you're worse. Worse than an infidel. Mm -hmm. Go 
worse. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Now, we thank God for this youth conference. We're glad for all of you that took the time out to come. Look on your schedules. You'll notice there's different upcoming events through the month of April. Some branch church anniversaries. I believe Fredericksburg is one, if I'm not mistaken. And I think Rocky Mount may be another, but look on your schedule uh, to be sure. The International Holy Convocation is coming up in July. It will take place in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We're looking for everybody. Amen. This is our international meeting where the brothers be flying in from other foreign countries. And we're looking to take Harrisburg, which is the capital of Pennsylvania, by storm. We thank you for your time. Yes, to you that are upset, I thank God for you too. Amen. Amen. You just got to do better, that's all. Amen. Men that are upset with me about this preaching, talking about me behind my back won't help. Trying to get other brothers to agree with you don't help. Any brother agree with another brother because he don't want to take care of his family, then that's two bums on board. Two bums. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Because yeah. a man that's a real man ain't agreeing with it. No way. When a brother try to pull you to the side and try to get a scripture, uh-uh. No. Uh -uh. The word has spoken. Yeah. He is worse. You brothers that minister, you better force this message and preach it. Amen. And the churches. If men get up and walk out and don't hold no meeting with no man who want to argue with you about taking care of his family, it ain't no meeting. Do it or go to hell. That's it. That's it. We're not going to have no bombs That's it. using First Church yes. as a haven. Yes. Yes. Go ahead, man. We're going to pull the bums off the train. Go ahead. Hiding in the baggage department. Hiding in the cattle car. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Are you listening? Go ahead, brother. Take care of your children. There should be no sister in the body of Christ talking to me or no other minister in a branch temple because their husband won't take care of their children. I stand firm on this and if I lose a member because of it, I'm fine with it. Wherever you go, this scripture is going to follow you. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Yeah. You women, yeah. don't you let your husband tell you, I can't give you no, and he working? That's right. Let the courts decide right. what he can give. That's right. Don't yeah. keep talking about, I'm going to take no, you to court, no, I'm going to take you to no. court. Talk is cheap. That's right. Take yeah. money to buy land. Oh, That's, yeah. right. Right. That's right. As a parent, you got you to gotta protect your children. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Preach that. You either protect your children yeah. or you stand by and let them starve. Yeah. Yeah. If you love them, yeah. get the court on them. Do it. The Bible says right. the law the is made the for the lawless. Yeah. Right. Let the law tell you how much he can or cannot pay. That's right. Amen. And if he still refuses, he goes to jail. And no brother in church will bail him out. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'ma make it hot yes. for all bums yes. in America. Yes. Especially those that claim they're born again. Because yes. to be a born again bum is an insult. Yes, it is. You know why? You being taught. That's right. You know better. Yes, sir. Amen. That's right. Okay. I won't say, man, somebody must got under his skin. No. <laughs> I feel fine. <laughs> I'm just yeah. preaching the word. Amen. Hmm? That's right. You can see me over there. 
And you can see me over there. Yes. And if you want to see me on all three, you can close your eyes. I want to protect all women, whether you're in, whether you're a sinner or not. That's, that's right. Whether you're a sinner or whether you're not a sinner. It is my job with the scriptures to set things in order, not the way Pastor Jennings think it should be, but what God says. You women, stop settling for less and allowing yourself to be a mattress just bounced upon. And that man ain't gonna take care of your kid. He give you a bunch of stupid promises. Yeah, yeah. 